Dustin McLean, Claire Max, and Benjamin Martin. Experts in the world of cosplay and DIY. Masters of duct tape, cardboard, and hot glue. Together they are the DIY Costume Squad. Hey guys, it's Claire. Welcome back to another exciting episode of DIY Costume Squad. Today we are going to tackle a much requested costume, and that is Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad movie. Super exciting. We're gonna use stuff I found at the thrift store and we're gonna do it without spending a whole lot of money. Let's get started. All right, so this is the costume I'm going to be making. It is the Suicide Squad movie version. A little bit different from her comic book outfit, but this one consists of a pair of little sparkly blue and red booty shorts. She's got a sort of raglan baseball type top, some fishnet tights, and then she's also got a pair of crazy insane boots and don't look comfortable at all. So I'm gonna start with the shorts. And for those, I'm going to use two pairs of sequin booty shorts that I got online for $10 a piece. So I'm going to cut both of these pairs in half. Ah, and I'm gonna stick them together with my trusty hot glue. And hopefully this is strong enough to keep my pants on. All right, so there are my half and half shorts. Now I'm gonna reinforce that seam on the inside with some tape because I really don't want these to fall apart. Next, I'm going to start on the shirt. For that, I'm using this white long sleeve t-shirt that I got at the thrift store for $4.95. It's a little bit big, so I'm gonna have to take it in a bit. So I'm just gonna make a new seam using hot glue to make this a little bit smaller. All right, that's a much better fit. I just need to cut it shorter and cut the sleeves a little shorter. So there's my trimmed down shirt. She has what looks like a sort of hand painted red top on the shirt, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that using my trusty red spray paint. This is the same floral paint that I use for my Sailor Moon boots because it does not crack on things that stretch. So her left sleeve has a little bit of blue kind of smudged around on it, so I'm gonna do that using some acrylic paint and my cut off sleeve pieces as my smudging rag. <laughs> So the next step is to add the text on the shirt. I'm first going to print out the image. I'm gonna put it inside the shirt, and then I'm gonna use that as a stencil to trace it onto the shirt with Sharpie. You can see it just enough through the fabric to be able to trace it. So now I'm gonna go ahead and mask off the stripes on the sleeve so that I can spray paint them. So the next step is just to distress this, dirty it up a little bit and make it look lived in. I'm literally gonna go throw it in the dirt. <laughs> All right, looks appropriately dirty. So the next step are her crazy boots. I got these at the thrift store. They were $12. They're basically the right shape. So I'm going to paint the heels red and the platforms here black. And for that, I'm going to use acrylic paint the next step is to cut out this weird little opening. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out and then paint the rest of the details. That's it for the paint for now. So now I'm gonna seal up these edges with some black tape. All right, so now that those are all taped up, I'm going to fake lace them with some shoelaces. I got these at a convenience store for $2. So there are also laces on the bottom part of the shoes, but they don't need to be functional, so I'm just cutting and gluing some fake ones on. So the last thing these boots need are some fake tongues. And for that, I'm going to use my trusty craft foam. Boom, knock off Adidas. So the next step is to make her choker, which says puddin. So I'm gonna use craft foam once again and some metallic duct tape for the gold letters. Not bad. All done with the choker. So the last accessory I'm going to make is her belt, which was given to me by Dustin. He's apparently had this sitting around, knowing that one day he would need it for something, and that day has come. But I need to make a little Harlequin diamond belt buckle for it. 
All right, so I'm gonna make her shoulder gun holster and I'm just gonna use some black duct tape and kind of figure it out as I go along. All right, so this gun came from Ben's stash of guns, and uh, I'm just gonna hit it with some white paint. All right, so the outfit is almost done, but there's one last accessory that I need, and Dustin is wearing it right now. We realized that his glove is almost identical to the one that she wears. It's my sweet fingerless glove, no big deal. Costume Squad pro tip, don't have an accessory? Steal it from your cameraman. All right, I also picked up these fishnet stockings for $9 online. The outfit is complete, so it is time to try it all on. So here is the main costume. I've got my little tiny shorts on, and uh, time to add accessories. It's just some jewelry that I already had. Goes with the look. All right, so the final step is hair and makeup. I got this wig online, it was $32. Before I put it on, I'm gonna take the time to do a full face of Harley Quinn makeup, and I'm gonna show the guys. All right, so I'm gonna do Harley Quinn's makeup. She's got sort of the clown white face going on with some blue and some pink eyeshadow, cute little face tattoos. I'm gonna start with some white cream base. Great thing about this makeup is she's a crazy person, so it doesn't really have to look that good. So now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. For that, I'm just gonna use a light brown eyebrow pencil since she does have brown eyebrows. Now it's time for eyeshadow. That's gonna be really messy and not blended and just sort of everywhere. Now I'm gonna put on some false lashes just for a little bit of extra drama. This part's gonna be really hard. Let's see if I can write on my face in the mirror. There you go, it only sort of looks like a five-year-old did it. So now I have the very difficult task of giving myself an arm tattoo on my right arm. So I get to do this with my left hand. We'll see if it looks like I was attacked by a fourth grader with some crayons. We'll see. How does anyone... Okay. All right. Hey. All right, so now that the makeup and all the tattoos are done, I'm going to put the rest of the costume on and go show the guys. All right, here we go. Time to see Claire's right. finished Harley Quinn Can't outfit. Wait. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be scary. Here, here it comes. Go. Wow! Yes! Oh my gosh. This is so awesome. Yes. The boots are killer. Look at those. They're pretty intense. Those are some nice knockoffs. Some knockoffs, some Hand designer knockoffs. Painted. Wow. Is her gun white? Her gun is white, yeah. Oh, okay. I got really lazy and only painted half the gun because it's gonna be in the holster, but hey. It's a white gun. Cool. <laughs> All right, so how much did this end up costing you? The whole thing, not counting the change on my holster, was oh, about yeah. $40. The wig was, I think, 30 That's pretty good for that wig, because that's like the real thing, right? You didn't... You... No, I didn't. It came this way. Yeah, and then you thought about maybe just like spray painting a blonde wig, too, right, which yeah. you could do. You could get a blonde wig but and have But they happen to have this yourself, online. But... And it looks awesome. It really completed the whole look. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. Be sure and subscribe. Leave us a comment down below. Let us know what costumes you want to see us tackle next. Mm -hmm. Up next, we have Ben making. I am going to do a trooper of a storm variety. Mm. <laughs> Something about like space, space battles. It's a space star, battle. Star yeah. fights. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so keep an eye out for that. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. That's right. High All right. five? Yeah, group high five. Here yeah. we go. Oh. Oh. oh, I think she broke my nose.